annoying issues with the Call of Duty Warzone game is DirectX error. If you're experiencing this problem with the game right now, this video can help you with it in most cases. Problems with DirectX are the result of an issue with the user's own computer, and these problems have nothing to do with the game's servers. This means that the issue can likely be fixed on your end if you know what the exact reason is. If you are having trouble opening the game or playing it because your Call of Duty Warzone DirectX has run into an issue that cannot be recovered, you may try one of the many possible solutions that are available to you. This is an essential initial step in the process. If your game sometimes crashes for no apparent reason, using this simple step in the debugging process may prove to be helpful. Warzone should be quit regularly, and the Blizzard program should be totally closed. If you really need to exit both processes, you may try using the task manager to do so. Warzone DirectX unrecoverable error persists after you have restarted both the Warzone and the Blizzard software. The next useful thing that you can do is to reset the computer by totally powering it off and then turning it back on again. Before turning it back on, make sure you wait at least a minute and a half. Using a built-in Blizzard software file repair tool. Some Call of Duty, Warzone gamers were able to cure a wide variety of issues. If corrupted game files are the source of the issue, then this solution could be helpful. If your DirectX has had an issue that cannot be recovered, here is how to fix it. Open the blizzardbattle.net desktop app. Click the icon of the game you are trying to repair. Click options. Click on scan and repair. Click begin scan. Wait for the repair to finish. One technique to reduce the likelihood of seeing glitches in a video game is to ensure that all of the software on your computer is kept completely up to date. Also, make it a point to check that the operating system and any other software on your computer gets frequent updates from Microsoft and other developers. In order to resolve a number of problems with Warzone, the developer forced the game to operate in DirectX 11 mode rather than DirectX 12. You should give it a go to see if it will assist you in fixing the Warzone DirectX unrecoverable error. Open the Battle.net Blizzard application. Select the Call of Duty MW game in the left panel. Click on Options. Select Game Settings. Enable additional command line arguments. In the box, enter D3D11. Click Dem button at the bottom. Run the game again and see if the problem returns. Most of the time, difficulties with DirectX are brought on by outdated GPU drivers. It is recommended that you reinstall the drivers for your graphics card if you are still experiencing issues when playing Warzone. To do this, please proceed as follows. In the search box on the taskbar, search for Device Manager. Select Device Manager. Find your graphics video card under Display Adapters. Right-click the name of the device and select Uninstall. Restart your PC. Windows 10 will attempt to reinstall the driver. If you have encountered an error that cannot be recovered, deleting the cache for the game may be of assistance. The following is what you are need to do. Quit Warzone and Blizzard applications. Navigate to see Users, Your Name, Documents, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Create a copy of all folders and keep it in another folder. This will save as your backup in case you'll encounter a problem with your troubleshooting later on. Once you've copied your game cache in another folder, delete all the stuff in the Call of Duty Modern Warfare folder. Start COD Warzone again and see if the problem is fixed or you still encountered an unrecoverable error. There is a possibility that issues with the Blizzard launcher or Warzone are being caused by other applications. Before beginning Call of Duty, Warzone once again, you must ensure that all other applications have been exited successfully. If it is required, use the task manager to do a second check of the list of apps that could be operating in the background, and then shut all of those applications. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making sure that Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.